For those of you that have used Test Complete in the past, you know how Test Complete can help you automate your regression and other tests. By automating your test, you know that you get benefit of being able to reuse those automated tests on every release you do, and it allows you to shorten your QA cycle. Many of you have also used Software Planner. As you know, Software Planner is a full application lifecycle management tool and it allows you to manage your requirements, your test cases, and your manual test effort. Now we have a bridge between the two products, between Test Complete and Software Planner. So you'll be able to use Test Complete as you do today, but also be able to use Software Planner's rich dashboards and reports to view all of your automated test runs side by side with your manual test runs. So how do we get started? Well, first of all, you'll install the bridge between Software Planner and Test Complete. And that's a simple downloadable install routine that uh, steps you through the installation process. And that's all covered in the user's guide. Now, once your uh, bridge has been installed, when you log into Software or when you open up Test Complete, you'll notice that you have a new option here. It's under the, uh, the clipboard area but it will be called the Automation Bridge Registration. Once you choose that, it will then bring up a screen that allows you to register your Software Planner account with your Test Complete project that you're working with. And the first thing you'll need to know is your web uh, service address, which we will provide you. You'll also need to know your email address and password for your Software Planner account. Once you have that, you'll press Load Projects, and it will load all of the projects that you have in Software Planner, allowing you to choose the project in which you want the run results to flow over into Software Planner. Last, you'll choose your Test Complete Project Directory, Project Suite Directory, as well as your Log Directory. It'll automatically recognize what your host name is, which is simply your PC or machine name. And then finally, you'll choose whether you want to run this with Test Complete or Test Execute, and we support 7.5 and above. Now, once you've got this registration form filled out, it will now start uh, communicating with Software Planner. Now, it's important to note that many of our clients have told us that they did not want to, to have all of their tests log into Software Planner because many of times that they're using Test Complete, they're simply debugging their test scripts. So the way we've designed this integration is that if you're working down here in any keyword tests or any scripted tests, it will not log those results to Software Planner. What will log to Software Planner is if you create test items inside of Test Complete. Now in this example, we have a full regression project, and you can see that we've organized our test items by functional area or by module. All right. Now we also wanted to be able to reuse some of these test cases for smoke tests, so we created another project here called Smoke Tests, and it has also a list of items that can be run for your smoke tests. Now if you want to run this interactively, you can simply click on your test items, choose Run Focused Item, it'll then begin invoking your test and it'll run those tests to completion. Now once it's completed uh, with these tests, it will then log the results in the Software Planner so that you can see the run results of each one of these tests. Now once you've kind of debugged this, uh, it allows you to not only run this interactively as we're showing here, but you can also set up a Windows scheduler to run these automatically. So if you wanted smoke tests to run every night, you can very easily set that up. If you wanted a full regression to run weekly, you could easily set that up. Okay, so as you can see, this has now created uh, a log file for all of the runs here that we did for our smoke tests. Now if we log into Software Planner, uh, we'll notice that we have this area under the test cases area called automation runs. And this is going to allow you to view all of the runs that you do from test complete, but it allows you to access that information over the web. All right, now a common way that you may want to be able to view this is uh, maybe by either host name or date run. So let's say that we wanted to find out all of the runs that have happened today. This is showing me that six runs have happened today. And if I wanted to also see that by host name, in other words, what PC or server ran those, I can drill into that as well. Now, as you can see here, 
it's automatically showing me that I've run those smoke tests uh, just a second ago. And it shows that we ran three tests inside of the smoke test. None failed, three passed. It also shows the start and end time and the duration. It took 33 seconds to run this particular test case. And if I click on the item, it'll actually bring up the test complete log so that I can view every run that happened. So I can see that it tested three test cases, the, the file new, the file exit, and the test detail. Now, in addition to all this, you can also view this information on dashboards. Notice in the test cases area, there's a dashboard item. All right, And from this dashboard, we can see not only our manual runs over here, but we can scroll over and see our automation runs here. So we can very quickly look at this and figure out for any machine how many tests have passed today and how many have failed today. And it will continue to trend that out day by day. You can also view it for all of your machines. So if you have a lab environment where you have multiple test machines, you can aggregate that information day by day, finding out how many tests have run, how many passed, how many failed. And then again, if you want to drill into a particular machine, you have that option as well. All right, so hopefully this was a quick overview of Software Planner and Test Complete Automation Bridge, and I hope that you find it helpful. Thank you.